in the last session we have seen about the differential protection for generators so in today's session we will apply the differential protection or merge price protection or circulating current scheme principle for transformers so when protection is given for transformers here we have certain complicating features and remedi uh, remedial measures when we are applying this protection it is not as easy as we have applied for the generator protection because there is a possibility that under certain features that the relay will operate even during the normal condition so which should not occur in the power system right so here this transformer protection it is mainly used for or this merge price protection is used for the protection against the phase to phase fault or phase to ground fault now here initially we'll see what are the problems associated when we are giving this transformer protection so usually here we have connected a two delta power transformer the primary and the secondary are there and the corresponding uh, cts are provided on both the sides so whenever this power transformer are going to be connected always there is going to be a difference in the primary and the secondary connection it is a current which is flowing in the primary and the secondary due to the difference because of the current which is going to flow in the primary and secondary it is going to differ because of the connection which is constituted with right so in power transformer because of this connection okay the star star or star delta connection there is going to be a differential current between the primary and the secondary though you use the identical transformer so this results in the differential current which flows under the no load condition now how to overcome this for this the turns ratio on the low voltage side is made as t times the turns ratio on the high voltage side t is nothing but the turns ratio of the transformer the second thing is that between the primary and the secondary of the power transformer there exist a phase difference okay first what we have seen is a magnitude difference and there is a possibility of the phase difference of the transformer even if you provide the a turns ratio properly so in this case so according to the power transformer suitable connections on your cts to be provided that is the solution so so here it is stated the power transformer connection is given and the current transformer connection is given right suppose if the power transformer primary and the secondary is star and delta star uh, with neutral earth and delta means the current transformer should be just vice versa to adjust for the phase difference so star uh, neutral earth and phase, uh, delta means it will be delta star suppose star star means it will be delta delta if it is going to be delta star then accordingly your current transformer should be connected in star and delta to account for the phase difference right the third point so usually if you consider the transformer there exists a tap changing transformer that is either the primary or the secondary will be provided with taps so this will result in the under normal condition itself this will suppose on primary side if there is going to be a turns that is a taps are going to be provided under normal condition itself it will create a differential current that will flow through the relay and the relay will mall operate so this process should not occur in the circuitry so this tap changing problem it could be overcome by adjusting the turns ratio of the ct on the particular power transformer side in which you are going to provide the taps and the last problem which is encountered is a magnetic inrush problem suppose a transformer has not been in service for a long period of time suddenly if you are going to insert a transformer then in that case it is going to result a magnetic inrush current that is you are going to have the incoming current alone will be of higher magnitude with no outgoing current so in that case so you will have the magnetic inrush problem in this mainly the second harmonic component will be more so in order to overcome this so we have to devise a scheme so which can restrain the second harmonic bias features so that this problem will be avoided so once all these basic schemes are going to be provided now the transformer protection will be ready with so here in this case you can see the one end is going to be connected to the other end the power transformer primary and secondary are connected in delta 
So when it is going to be connected in delta automatically on both the sides, how the CT is to be connected? It has to be connected in star connection. Okay. Now what is the other connection it is given? So this is nothing but the relay operating coil for all the three phases. So whenever there is going to be a phase to phase fault or a phase to ground fault, in that case the current which is going to enter the relay and leave the relay is going to be resulting in a differential current in the secondaries of the CT. As a result, the relay is going to operate due to the differential current flowing through. Under normal conditions, the current from both the sides of the CT are going to be the same. The relay will not operate. So, under a faultier condition in case of a phase fault occurring or a phase to ground fault occurring, in that case, the differential current will flow through the relay and the relay will operate. One more advanced feature is there. So, this type of protection, it can even provide protection that is if at all a fault is occurring between these turns a short circuit is occurring between the turns in the same phase also what will happen automatically the current which is flowing from the both the sides will differ as a result the relay will operate so thus even if there is going to exist a short circuit uh, between the turns on the same phase winding the turns ratio of the of a transformer is altered so it results in a differential current flow through the circuitry of course in this case, though this short circuit occurs, so this type of short circuit should be better taken care of by the Bocal's relay that we will see in the next session. Thank you.